Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. I didn't know if I was gonna do this video because I was feeling a little bit uncomfortable about it and then I decided, well, to challenge ourselves, we need to do things that make us feel uncomfortable, right? Especially if they're good for us. So um, I wanted to test out the Brooke Burke Body Sliders from the FabFitFun Winter Box. I was really excited to receive these because I really am out of shape and you're gonna see that. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about how I liked it and show you me attempting to use them. So um, they worked really, really well. I really like them. I'm really excited about this. And um, it's kind of a new, different, fun at-home workout. And um, if you didn't see my winter unboxing, I'm a little winded, actually. If you didn't see my winter unboxing, I did it already anyway. You're going to see it after this. If you didn't see my winter unboxing, um, I had pointed out that for something like this, I heard a tip, if you don't have FabFitFun and you're interested in a workout like this, you can get furniture sliders and you can probably look up YouTube videos on how to use those to exercise. So anyway, I'm going to show you how it went. Enjoy and like, comment, subscribe, introduce yourself. I'm having a lot of fun with this YouTube stuff. Okay. Mwah. Bye. Your muscle memory will totally kick in. Let's do a couple more. Turning. Breathing, lots of abs for balance. Awesome job. So keep going, use the pause button and then come right back. So our next move is a reverse lunge. I'm gonna get rid of one of my sliders just for safety and balance. So plant that right foot and you're just gonna bring it back into a lunge, 90 degree angle. Abs are engaged, slide it back. It's so easy to use these because you have such a larger range of motion. We're gonna do two more, slide it back, working underneath all the trouble areas. Hamstrings are on fire. One more, then we're gonna switch legs. Awesome. Switching legs, plant that left foot. All your balance comes from right here. You're standing up really tall, and you just bring it back. If you lose your balance, no big deal. You're sliding that foot squeezing the glutes, working the hamstrings. My abs are totally engaged. We're gonna do five, we have just a couple more. But I really want you to work your way up to 10 to 15 reps. One more, I'll talk you through everything. Awesome job. Let's take it to the floor. All right, everybody, we are moving on to plank taps. One of the hardest things that we do for our abs are good old-fashioned planks, but of course, we're gonna make it a little more dynamic. So come on down to a proper plank, shoulders over your wrists, and you're just gonna tap, tap, pulling your navel to your spine. We're gonna go for five. I want you to get familiar with these. I want you to get stronger every time you attempt it, and use the pause button so you can work your way up to 10 to 15 reps. Let's do one more just because. Squeezing, last time. <sighs> Catch your breath. Take a child's pose in between. Stretch out your shoulders. All right, next move is a rotating push-up. I like to do my push-ups on my knees. Nothing wrong with that. It's a ladies push-up. You take your right hand out wide, and then you move to the left. So nice and easy, lots of control. Total shoulders here. Let's do three more. Breathing. My core is still engaged. Let's do two more. Let it burn. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. One more on each side. Last time. Amazing work. Stretch it out. Catch your breath. All right. So this next move is one of my favorites. So it's a child's pose and a push-up, but unlike what we just did, you're going to point your fingers forward, you're going to point your elbows back, okay, and you're also going to take the stretch. So it looks like this. You're going to do a push-up, elbows back, and then take your child's pose stretch. Come down to a push-up, carving out the triceps, stretch. So find your rhythm, push it up, elbows back, fingers forward, <sighs> breathing. It should feel really good. You take your stretch. Let's do two more. One more, full one. Then we're gonna hold in our child pose. Of course, I want you to keep going. 10 to 15, stretch it out. 
So we're going to move on to a single leg bridge. So you're going to put your heels this time right in the center of your sliders. And you're going to come on down onto your back. Booty in the air, squeezing, digging your heels into the ground. And we're rotating from side to side. Hips are as high as you can get them. You want this to burn. You're pressing your hips to the sky, digging your heels into the ground. Navel is pulled down to your spine. Let's do three more on each leg, working the hamstrings. Two more. One more. Last time. And lower it down. So last move. You're gonna press your heels into the ground, hips to the sky, and we're just gonna end with a booty pulse. So you're dropping it low, squeezing the booty, squeezing the glutes, working the abs, pressing it up as high as you can. I want you to go for 30 seconds. In order for this to work, you're digging your heels into the ground.